Hey guys, we got some good news today. Ukraine has made massive progress lately regarding the Lamont encirclement. They have begun to close the Russian defensive line down to a single highway, which they plan to escape through. I'm not sure if they've liberated Torsky, but it doesn't really matter. The only highway out of the city has been constantly bombarded by Ukrainian artillery all day. Further east, Ukraine has launched an assault towards Kromina, likely the next city on their list to retake, since it's a vital supply city. My guess is that the front line is going to stabilize over some line that, hang on. My guess is that it's going to stabilize over a line that looks something similar to this over the coming days. Ukraine has done an amazing job at this counterattack. They initially acted like they were going to encircle just the city of Lamont, so Russia went and reinforced it, and then they ended up just encircling the whole region, which allowed them to take out even more Russian troops. The Russians were 15 kilometers away from Slovyansk when they held Lamont, but now they will likely have to retreat to the 40 or 50 kilometer range. Earlier in the day, Ukraine also submitted a fast track application in NATO. This would be really interesting if it does get passed, which I, I don't think it will. I think Turkey and some southeastern European countries will probably block their admission, and it seems like the US is also hinting at maybe doing it later and not now. Everyone was freaking out about them invoking Article 5, but I also don't think that'll happen either. I think Ukraine's NATO accession will probably happen after the war, rather than during it. Russia has also passed their fake sham referendums earlier today, which basically do nothing. It's just like a political ploy to get more support. It's not going to do anything. I think Le Mans will be liberated by tomorrow, but only time will tell. Alright guys, sorry for the small update video. It's 1am and I'm really tired. See ya. <laughs>